what you might be feeling now in February until March. Hey guys, just a little, little clip here real quick just to give you some insight into what you may be feeling um, now uh, in with February into March coming up here, uh, which was um, downloaded real quick. So um, activation of palms, you might be feeling like this energy coming um, from the palms or feeling energy vibration there, almost like energy was streaming, right? So activation of palms. If you don't know anything about the palms, uh, we can pick up energy, vibration, and you know things like that. And I've been getting that, you know, going forward, we're going to have more of our intuitive abilities and things like that open up. And so that may be one for you if you haven't noticed that before. So that might be something um, if you are feeling like your palms becoming activated, energy, vibration, sensations from there, um, you're being activated. Okay, and then lots of energy also um, on some extreme tiredness, depending on where you are on, on your path. You know, it could be that things uh, are weighing you down, you know, um, or if you're having a lot of extreme, it could be like the buzzing of energy flowing through you. I know I get that every now and then where I feel like spurts of energy and it kind of can be miscued uh, with the um, feeling of anxiety. But just know the difference between anxiety. Um, anxiety is about worry and stress and thinking in the future or of, of a situation which creates the thing of anxiety. But what this is, is a, an energy vibration that just comes through you versus something that you're thinking and creating anxiety. There's two different forms you know, of that from where that comes. Um, and then there's seeing the energy like a kaleidoscope, like it'll, it'll, it's just like if you're looking through a kaleidoscope, but you're seeing like this fractionated energy, not just little specks of energy, right? And so it's becoming fractionated. Um, and I've had that already. And so it might appear to you like, um, this fractionated, um, see-through kind of like, I'm going to say like a stained glass window, but it's, you're seeing everything like the trees, the plants, but it's just going to be like looking through this fractionated energy um, of that, which is just clear instead of, you know, if you've seen energy, you see like little, like little sparkles, like little fire, fireflies, you can say they're just sparkling around, um, not seeing energy, but this is going to be more like a fractionated um, appearance to it. Um, headaches. Um, especially back here where um, you may be re thinking that it's stress, but like if you know anything about your intuitive abilities, again, with the awakening of the intuitive abilities for a lot of people, you may be feeling the headache because this is where a lot of our information comes in when we're doing intuitive work. So it may have headaches back here, adjustments, mean updates, uh, you know, tuning in and seeing where that's coming from is it stress stress is more from here which goes up to the back of your head versus just here right and so there's a difference you know with what the headache may be from um, if you're getting any upgrades up tunes tunes you know um to your energy and vibration you may be feeling the headaches um, ear pressure or blocking um, you may feel like when your ears goes offline and you can't hear out of it and you don't have anything wrong there's no earache there's no no, nothing blocking, there's no water, there's no nothing in it's causing that. Um, it just may be an offline where your hearing is blocked, right? Feeling like doors are opening, just feeling like, oh, doors are opening, right, for me. Or good things are coming in, things, good things are happening. You may have that feeling and not really know why or what it is, but you just have that sense or feeling about it. As well as any, some overwhelming feelings of, heaviness in the energy on the collective level, uh, which can be the parents of everything that's going on right now um, that we're always, we're, we're tuning into um, when we're having the TV on, the, the news, um, and we can sense and feel that energy and vibration on that level, the collectiveness, and may feel like heavy to the point where you don't even want to go outside or engage with people, <laughs> you know, and that may be like the feeling um, can have like fear, you know, about being outside around other people and things like that and may want to keep you inside and hibernating or keeping to yourself, right? 
which is also a good time right now because February is a great time to hibernate, um, meditate, start creating. What do you want to create? You know, so when you come into the spring, things are budding for you. Um, and then the rise, rise energy. So what it's saying is for rising the energy. Um, so when you're getting into those spaces, acknowledge that you're feeling, you know, that on the collective level, the heavy energy of what we're going through the transition, because this year is going to be quite a, quite a fun ride, um, per se, and there's going to be a lot of things happening going on um, as far as the collective and everything. As you can see, you know, all over the world, there's stuff, um, and the U.S. is not separate from it. So when we're feeling that, acknowledge it. Okay, I feel it. Don't wallow in it, though. Right? Raise your vibration and energy. Let it tell you where you are because when we're feeling low on the totem pole it's a good indicator that we need to raise our vibration energy which helps shift the rest of the energy because if everybody's <clears throat> low on the totem pole guess where we are right and so if we can acknowledge <clears throat> feel it and understand it as like okay i'm getting it you know use it as a guide for yourself and raise your vibration do something change turn off the tv turn off the news go do painting go play your instrument go do something that helps you bring the vibration energy up so you're not going down, you know, any further down um, the rabbit hole with that whole energy and vibration. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and then um, also, you know, if you're feeling like hibernating, you know, give that to yourself. Allow yourself to hibernate. Don't do it out of fear, though, um, about going out and being out in the world, um, you know, with everything and the energy that's going on. But just do it, you know, for the sense of hibernating and do some self-work. Take the time to reflect inward. Um, do some self-work. Feel your emotions. Journal, right? Do some yoga, meditation, whatever it is that you need to do as you're hibernating. Um, try not to wallow in it because the more we focus on things that are um, maybe weighing us down or the heavy energy, uh, emotions that... Um, the more we focus on that, you go further and further into it, right? Instead of instead of acknowledging it, because we do want to acknowledge our emotions because it's our navigation system and our, our where we are, right? So it helps us navigate it. It's not that they're not true or that we shouldn't it, we should ignore them, anything like that. But we don't want to stay wallowing in them. Feel them, acknowledge them, know where they're coming from. If you need to do some self healing on that or work, do that. But you know, just use it as a navigation tool. Otherwise, you know, in, in other cases. But definitely, those are just some things that have come to me for coming up here, uh, February into to March. So, all right. And if you have anything else, just drop them below of what you're feeling, experiencing, and definitely share that, uh, you know, with everybody. And thanks for tuning in.